So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get from these latent constructs to something more like this. Um, yes, save. <clears throat> to something more like this, where you have these composite um, variables that you can use in drawing these path diagrams, which is what I've used in most of, most of my videos. Now, you don't have to use these types of um, composites, but I use them. They're very simple. <clears throat> so how do you get from here to here? what you need to do is impute or uh, create the composites based on some factor scores. The way you do that is first make sure you're using data that has no missing values. If you have missing values you cannot impute in Amos. Um, so if you need to <coughs> excuse me if you need to impute those missing values um, in SPSS first go ahead and do that. Second you need to make sure there are no spaces or uh, gaps between your variable names. So agent trust had a space in between agent and trust. Need to get rid of that. Company trust has a hard return. Need to get rid of that. And now all my variable names are just single strings. And now I'm ready. You go to analyze, go to data imputation, and it's going to be on regression imputation. And what it's going to do is it's going to take your current file, your current data set, which for me is called Ben Care Items No Missing and it's going to create a new one called Ben Care Items No Missing underscore C. So whatever it was named is now that name underscore C. Go ahead and click Impute. Hope it runs. Yep, it ran. And now we can go find that. Just close that. And it's here. So this is the one I was using, Ben Care Items No Missing, and now it created a new one, Ben Care Items No Missing underscore C. I'm going to open that up just to show you what's in it. Do, 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 do. It's opening. Wow, that's taking forever. Do, 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 do. Here we go. All right, it has all those items that we had before, but now at the bottom, it has these five new variables. The last one you don't have to worry about. That's just the case number. Ignore it. Something like an ID. Um, but it has these new ones that are named the same as my composite or the same as my latent variables were named company trust value loyalty and agent trust and now I can create something like this using those values and that's it pizza cake all right good luck